It's the top of the hour, so we'll get started. I'm Dio Wagesbeck in Houston, and I'd like to welcome everyone to today's GlomCon seminar. Today, our talk is CAR T cell therapy for autoimmune diseases, and we are thankful to have our speaker, Dr. John Hogan. Great. Uh, well, thank you to the GlomCon team uh, for this in, for the uh, opportunity to present today. Uh, thank you, Dia, for the introduction, um, and good to see a lot of familiar faces slash names on the uh, on the webinar this morning. So if it's okay with you, I'll share my screen and uh, get started here. Can you see my screen? I'll switch it out here. Is that full screen for you? Yes, perfect. Okay, great. Um, great, so um, I will be going through a few different topics today with regards to cell therapy for autoimmune disease. Um, I can stop along the way if that's okay to kind of keep it interactive at certain uh, parts of the talk to see if people wanna get any more in depth on any particular uh, topics. Um, and then obviously there'll be time for questions at the end. So, um, and I'll also try to keep an eye on the chat. Obviously that can be a little challenging when I'm, uh, when I'm presenting, but certainly when I'm taking a little pause to see if there are any questions, I'll check the chat box and see if there's anything that people have asked that I can answer. Um, so here's my disclaimer. I expect us to all remember this uh, immediately. There's a quiz right after this on the disclaimer slide. I'm just kidding. Um, so really, it's a pretty simple agenda today. It's number one is to give a brief overview of chimeric uh, antigen receptor T cell therapy. And then we'll be reviewing some of the safety and efficacy data of CD19 CAR T cell therapy for lupus and other autoimmune diseases that's been published uh, in the last year or so. So really, chimeric, uh, chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy, as many of you may be familiar with, uh, are approved for the use uh, for use in uh, hematologic malignancies, and the approved therapies are all autologous uh, chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapies. Uh, this is uh, in contrast to allogeneic uh, CAR T cell therapies, which are also being studied both for um, malignant indications and non-malignant indications. But the approved therapies are autologous, which means that patients have to go under, undergo leukapheresis to isolate their T cells. Then a gene editing technology is used to insert the gene into the, uh, to insert a gene into the car, into the T cell, and that gene encodes for the chimeric antigen receptor or CAR. That CAR has an extracellular domain which binds to its target antigen. And in the case of the first approved CD, uh, uh, CAR T cells, these are. Uh, anti-CD19 CAR T cells, also known as CAR T19 therapy. So the extracellular uh, domain on these molecules binds to CD19 antigen because they are targeting B cell malignancies. These cells are then grown ex vivo into the millions and then infused into a patient. And again, as far as the paradigm of treating B cell malignancies, they would be targeting those CD19 positive cells, uh, which are mostly B cells and depleting those. Um, this time from phoresis to infusion is called vein to vein time. So if you want to, if you're, if you're at a cocktail party uh, later this evening or this week, and you're talking to a bunch of hematologists, you can kind of drop vein to vein time and you'll kind of be in the know, you'll be in the crew for having the lingo. And the original uh, indication for which CAR T19 was approved, the first approved CAR T was, is called Kimraya. And actually was developed at the University of Pennsylvania while I was there. So that was just kind of luck to be there at the same time. Um, but that, that CAR T cell therapy for initial reports and other CAR T cell therapies for patients with for patients who are children and young adults with refractory B cell ALL, for which there really are no other uh, available treatments which are efficacious, with one dose of this therapy, the complete remission rates were between 50 and 80% with long-term remissions with just one dose of between 40 and 57%. So this is really an astounding feat of science, right? You think about it, it's almost, it's very like science fiction, right? You take out your own cells, you insert something that's gonna have them target exactly what you want, and then you reinfuse it back into uh, your own body and it fights those target cells. And for these patients who had really a huge unmet need for additional therapy, um, these complete remission weights with just one dose of therapy are really quite astounding. Although you can tell it's not a magic bullet, right? It does not work for everybody. And I think that's an important um, aspect to recognize. These are the six approved CAR T cell therapies for hematologic malignancies in the United States. Four of them uh, target uh, CD19 for B cell malignancies and two of them target uh, BCMA 
for multiple myeloma because BCMA is an antigen that's present on plasma cells.